Now this video is about how to remove a door panel from Audi Coupe Cabriolet. They're both roughly the same. Um, I know it's not my usual Mark IV stuff, but you know Audi's a family too, so I thought we could help them, especially knowing how difficult it can be. So watch and hopefully enjoy. Now the first step is to remove the hidden screw hidden behind the door handle. This is pretty easy enough. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. Push the handle back, screw it up, and it should come out. Hopefully use a magnetic screwdriver so it doesn't fall anywhere. So it's always better to use one. So that's what you've got to do. That's the first thing you have to do. Now with the same for the screwdriver, loosen the screw behind the handle here. Now it's hidden behind the foam and it may not come all the way out. So just loosen it till it's loose enough and then, then move on to the next part. Now I'm next you're going to need this Allen key, a four millimeter Allen key. This is what's going, that, these are the next bolts that are hidden behind the actual window switch itself. Now, these come on guides, they have a, like little tube guides that guide you into the actual nut itself. But a lot of time when people have taken them off, they've either been twisted and manipulated and you, it's very difficult to find them. And especially with you using Phillips for the first two parts, you expect Phillips to be for this. So this is what you have to do. You have to fiddle it about a little bit. But what I found was is that if I got the Allen key parallel with that line of the trim, as you'll see shortly, that's when it seemed to go in. That was a very good gauge and indicator into the sort of angle I should be projecting it in. So once you've got it in there like that, it's quite easy to screw out. But this is the part that causes the most problems. With the same Allen key, it's onto the, the nut or the Allen bolt underneath the bottom of the switch itself. Very much like the top, but this one you go straight up and um, just unscrew it down and it comes out. All pretty simple, easy stuff. Once all your screws are undone, it should be really simple and then you should just pull out. Shouldn't be too much of a fight. And there you go. That's really how simple it is. But this is very fragile, so and this is what gets broken the most, but that's how you take that off. This part's all pretty easy. Now you've got full access to the light switch. These are just pull off connectors. So, you know, just a little bit of convincing downwards, making sure you don't bend anything or split anything. You know, always be careful with your stuff. And, um, yeah, it's pretty simple. That's it, it just comes up like that. Now, these are the handle brackets. These are also Phillips screwdriver. Um, this also helps to hold on the door panel as well. So, these have to be removed. So, simple Phillips screwdriver, screw them off, and on to the next. Apologies for the video here, got some poor light. Once again, Phillips screwdriver on the end is this black casing. What you'll see is the door panel come around the side and it'll be behind a black casing. So you have to remove that black casing. And it's got two screws. So yep, once they're done, it's pretty simple. All Phillips again, we're still on Phillips. And um, that's gonna help you to release the door. Now that all the screws and all the holding brackets have been removed, it's very, very simple. It's just a matter of just lifting it up and it will come loose. Obviously, you've still got the uh, cable behind the handle itself to release, but this upward movement is very important. It's got hook style clamps on the back of the door panel, and if you push pull it, they'll break and it'll just give you problems. So, hopefully, that helped. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you.